Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Manza, and I'm back on your screen with another sweet treat. And today we're going to be making a deliciously moist and decadent carrot cake with pineapple bits and toasted pecans. Guys, this is so rich, so delicious. And the good part is that it has no butter, but it will stay moist and soft both in your refrigerator and on your countertops. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. So I'm going to start off by sifting two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. This will help to aerate the flour and get rid of any lumps or any extra particles. Now to that, I will be adding one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. I also have some salt. There's about half a teaspoon of salt adding to that because I'm not using any butter. Now we need some spices and I'm going in with one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Love it. And I will also go in with half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg and one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves and also one fourth teaspoon of ground ginger. Guys, this combination right here is fire. If you don't have these, you can also use all spice, but these are my favorite spices for my carrot cake. And in the meantime, I have gone ahead and toasted one cup of pecans. These are slightly crushed pecans and I already showed how I do this in my previous video on my butter pecan pound cake. So I just toasted this with one teaspoon of unsalted butter. Put it in the oven 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight to 10 minutes, no more than that. And it will be perfect. All right, so here I am going to grate my carrot. This is the grater that I'm using today. It's just a box grater. You could use anything you have. Now I like to go with two different textures. I'll start off with the, with the finer, side of my grater and then i would finish it off with the larger side that would just give me more texture that is the larger side right there and then when i bake this cake you'll be able to see the smaller the larger particles and the smaller particles would just get lost in there now look at that beauty so beautiful so we are looking for about one pound of grated carrots which is an equivalent of 450 grams of carrots now in a bowl i am going to start off by mixing our ingredients i have added four eggs at room temperature very important and i'll go in with my hand mixer to beat the lightly and then i will use one cup of dark brown sugar this will give you that richness from all the molasses that's in there and then i will top it off with one and a half cups of light brown sugar if you don't have this you can use one cup of dark brown sugar and one and a half cups of regular white granulated sugar now beat the sugar and the eggs until they're well incorporated and now the start of the show i'm going to be using one cup of a vegetable oil you want an oil that is very light in flavor so one cup of vegetable oil this will substitute the butter and it would give it all the moisture that we need of course we're going to go in with some vanilla i am going in with one teaspoon of vanilla extract i love love the taste of vanilla in baked goods now, of course, we're going to add some pineapples. I have one cup of crushed pineapples. This is just from the can. And I also left some of the juice in there. So I did not strain the juice at all. So you can see the juice and the bits in there. One cup. It is going to add so much moisture. And another tip for you guys, if you do not have any pineapple bits handy, you can substitute this with um some applesauce not a whole cup but maybe about three fourths of a cup of applesauce would do the trick now here is our 450 pound uh, grams of grated carrots or one pound of grated carrots freshly grated i love using it now some people like to also toast this and which is perfectly fine but i like to keep it simple and i just like that freshness of the carrot so just combine that and here comes one cup of a uh, butter toasted pecans guys this combo it is fire and trust me when i say so it is so good so just simply go ahead and incorporate it using a spatula you don't need too much for this recipe now here i am adding an additional two tablespoons of that pineapple juice from the can mm you're assured of so much natural flavors but now you know what i always say zest that baby we're gonna zest this with some orange zest i always do orange and if you don't even have the pineapple juice use orange juice it pairs perfectly with a pineapple cake uh with a carrot cake i already have a video where i did a box cake hack um for 
a carrot cake i'll go ahead and link that in the description box and also up on the cards for somebody that just wants um a box cake version of it because i know some of us like to go with the made from scratch while some of us still prefer our box cake so what whichever you want i got you i got you girl so now we're adding a uh, dry ingredients i am adding half of that flour mixture in there and just beating it lightly and of course i want to welcome my new subscribers i have had so many of you guys join this beautiful family here and i am so happy to have you here i hope you do look around and i'm sure you will find a thing or two that you would like to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back and always supporting me we recently just hit a 100,000 subscriber milestone and I could not have done it without you guys all right so here is my prepared baking pan this is a big big pan this takes about I think this is a 14 cup baking pan so I'm just gonna head and pour in all my batter as you can see it is nice and rich already and it smells so good from the zest of that um, orange so my oven is already preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit okay Okay. and now i'm just gonna pop it drop it release any extra air bubbles and we will bake for about 60 to 70 minutes and in the meantime we're gonna make a quick glaze over here i have sifted two cups of powdered sugar it would take away all those lumps so it is nice and airy now to that i will be adding um, one block of eight ounce cream cheese at room temperature and half a stick of butter okay which is four tablespoons of butter now make sure that they are all at room temperature so that it would mix in really easily and you won't have um sugar flying all over your face now to that i always like to add one fourth cup of dark brown sugar that molasses in that brown sugar just has a trick that it does in cakes like this butter pecans and all of that i just love it now i'm also going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract you guys know that is it very simple make sure that you mix it until it's nice and smooth and now our cake is out of the oven and i've let it cool down all the way to room temperature and guys this cake is so so soft Soft. go ahead and frost this cake to your heart desire be as generous as you want to be in no shape or form i'm just gonna you know try to make it as pretty as i can if you guys are enjoying this video please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up it really helps me out and it also lets me know what kind of videos you like from me as usual you can always drop a comment on what type of recipes you're hoping to see on this channel it's a one man show but i try my best to listen to my subscribers and what they want now this is our cake and we're gonna cut it and see what we're working with and ooh, let's just take a look at the inside of this cake it is really nice and rich and decadent and you would when you taste it you would never believe that we do not have anybody in here when it comes to fruit cakes or cakes like carrot cakes i think the vegetable oil does the trick because um butter tends to make it a little more dense and especially if you put it in the refrigerator it becomes harder because of course butter hardens when it's cold unlike vegetable oil oil is it just stays at its natural state whether you put it in the refrigerator or you keep it on your countertop which is why this cake is so easy to make it could just stay on your countertop and you can decide to put it in your refrigerator anytime you want to eat it is nice and ready and can you see those chunks of carrots and the nuts in there by the way if you do have a nut allergy simply just skip out on the pecans you will still enjoy a very beautiful and delicious cake again thank you guys so much for always supporting mansa supporting my content sharing my videos telling your friends about me tagging me on instagram i could not have gone this far on this journey without you all i so much appreciate you and until i catch you with my next one y'all stay safe i love you all